Okay. Yeah. Can you so, just introduce yourself, please, sir? Hi, I'm Pete Hennessy, and I'm in charge of the engine side of things. So, what's your daily routine with the car when it comes? Daily routine. Show, we're the show car crew, we have a small crew of We all get involved with every aspect of the, the job, but I specialise in the engine, so I make sure that the engine runs properly, if there's any mechanical issues with it. Also, I oversee one of our technicians who is a hands on mechanic for the engine. Um, generally, we do, we do everything, but that's what I specialise in. So, if I'm not wrong, your job ends when the car gets tuned up properly and uh, it's ready to fire, right? Once the car leaves the garage, yeah. we go like this for a minute. <laughs> and then when it comes back, we spring into action again. Yeah? <laughs> because we don't have real time data, so when the car's out on the track, normally we'd be looking at data like this, but it'd be streaming live data. So, actually, you never actually stop until, until we put the cover on the car to go home. That's when we stop work. And we yes. go out and play. So, how do you find the car right now? In the shape? The car is um, about ready to fire up now. So we've been here what two hours. It's ready to fire up, but we can't at the moment yeah. because uh, we haven't got permission. Okay. Because um, it makes a lot of noise. Okay, cool. I do understand. And how do you find yourself uh, prepared for the event that uh, Banda Valley is selling? That's David going to drive the car. Well, pretty much when we're finished here, we're going through all the systems, making sure every, everything in the car works. Yeah. So when we when this car leaves here, it'll be ready to run. Apart from obviously when we get to the run site, we'll have to put it back on heat, go through our checks again, daily checks as we do at every event, and then it'll be ready. Oh, really? So we're happy. Yeah, great. Yeah. Like you just uh, tell us which part is of the car, which is you know where you fit in your engine and something like that, or. Want to just go run through that? Yeah. yeah. Which part of the car? Yeah. This, this, this bit in the middle is the most important bit. This, this is the engine here. Okay. V10 three litre. Revs to 16,700 rpm. Wow. Weighs about 90, 93 kilos. Gives out about 750 horsepower. Wow. Um, so this is engine. How's the cooling effects you always on? Cooling. Yeah. We've got oil, oil cooler this side, water cooler that side. Because it's a show car, we've added these these fans, electric fans. Normal race car doesn't have those. We've got one this side, two that side. Okay. Um, purely because the show car runs, there's a lot of we don't do so much high speed running. The car is actually engineered. These cooling ducts are engineered to keep the engine, the systems cool on the circuit. On a circuit running, you get a lot of airflow through. Okay. Yeah, we show car running, you don't get so much airflow, so we'll be packing it with dry ice and having these fans which actually suck air through and blow it out the back to help. Wow, it's cool. Okay. So get a lot of heat. I mean, these, these exhausts run up to about 1100 degrees C, cool. so everything gets fairly hot under the engine cover. So, with low speed running, you have a tendency to send, set things on fire as well, and we try and avoid that. Although it's a good spectacle, car on fire, it's not, it's not what we're about. <laughs> now, I'm just wondering that then uh, when Mr. David Goodlard is going to drive the car, the experience that he's going to have is uh, something different than the normally the way he drives his Formula 1 cars and the racing. The speed, the uh, acceleration will be completely different. Is it right? No, it's exactly the same. This is, this is a Pucker F1 car. And David, being an experienced F1 driver, will drive it exactly the same way as he would if he was on the track. The only thing he's got to be a little bit more careful with, you know, curbs and stuff and braking and making sure he don't put it upside down. So all those wires in between, uh, how the driver fit into it with this, you know? Yeah. We'd like well, to share us something about that. Just take the headrest out. I'm not going to do it now, but this, this section comes out. The driver gets it and slots down. The steering wheel comes off, oh, so wow. he gets access. Yeah. Okay. Great. Oh, and then he slots in. Basically, the, I mean, the seat is moulded round the driver, so you know that now it's, it's a perfect fit. He's strapped in with the belt, sits really low down. The top of his helmet is somewhere here. At this level, this is helmet support. Wow. So, at the, at the, when actually the whole force comes up, he's yeah. protected with that. It protected left and right. I mean, there's probably only that much gap side to side. Yeah. So when nowadays there are a lot of accidents going on, how the safety features are there in this car? The car is really strong and has to go through a side impact test and 
Um, if it survives that, it will survive pretty much any film. I mean, it's engineered to break at certain points, so the actual cell that the driver sits in is. So I can very well call it. Yeah, yeah, I can very well call this as a cockpit of the uh, car, right? Cockpit. Yeah. yeah, and this cockpit, how? What kind of safety features are there? Like now, the whole gas engine is on back side. The whole front side of the car, the person well, sitting. So, all the safety features are pretty much these. The headrest. We also have fire extinguishers. He has okay. a fire extinguisher button in here. If he goes on fire, okay. he presses that. Okay. Puts the engine out. Okay. We have um, extinguishers pointing backwards and in the cockpit. Completely, completely safe. Great. Do we get a chance to drive this car? No, I want to keep my job. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not allowed. We're not allowed to drive. Them. The closest you get is sitting one and operate the gears during the shift check. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. When our engineers say that the engine is completely done, you need to check the gear shifting yeah. and all. So yeah, we do all. that part, uh, so you do it uh, without driving a car, it's like, I'm not very much sure about how to do it. Yeah, so I just, just pretty much, the bottom levers on either side, the clutches, okay. and the two top ones are gears up and down. So we can actually sit here and pull the clutch, engage gear, let the clutch out, and then just bang, bang, bang up the box. So how the accelerations happen? So yeah, down. Uh, accelerations, accelerator, accelerators. Yeah, down here. There's two pedals. Okay. Accelerator and brake, and that's all there is. There's two pedal at the pedal. So when the What are these buttons then? What exactly those for? They, they do? Well, on the show car a lot of these buttons are redundant, but mm -hmm. in the olden days, with them um, traction control, reset centers, this is a drinks button. The driver's connected to the driver's helmet, wow. you'll have, a, you'll have okay. a pouch in here full of fluid. Wow. So they lose, they lose a, quite a lot of fluid during, during the race. Exactly. These are all um, engine settings, differential settings, so you can change how um, sharp or hard the, the diff axe. Great. Engine settings, fueling, engine engine braking. So how, how so on the curving, the on the curving. On so overrun, yeah. how hard the engine uh, yeah, affects the braking. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, throttle, throttle yeah, traction exactly. control. The driver can adjust all these settings okay. to suit what he wants. So apart from only braking and uh, uh, the travel, the throttle, they also man need to manage all those controls. You can manage everything. Fuel, you can change lots of things. You can display pretty much any parameter that he wants to see, any engine parameter up on the dash here. And hit, obviously. So it's a call for a pit, a uh, big speed stop. Hits, pre press that. Uh, uh, the fuel flap sticks the speed limiter on. So, uh, okay. so normally whenever a car comes into pit, uh, what kind of work you do across? Like, what's your job when your car comes into pit? Racing and show car are completely different. Yeah. Uh, racing when the car comes in the pit, it's a pit stop, so fuel change all the tyres. Mm. Uh, with the show car when it comes in, we normally have to get it cool as quickly as we can. Okay. Panels go in the ducts, maybe take the body work, maybe change the tyres if it's a problem with the brick wire, just getting ready to run again. So, do you think the car will be the same, which uh, will be driving right now on the, uh, sorry, I mean so the drive will be the same? The same tyres that you have on the F1 race track? They're the same tyres, yeah. yeah. they are the same tyres? Yeah. So, unless it's raining, if it's raining we'll, we'll have to run wet. Because it's not safe to run slicks in the wet. And any particular modifications that you have done specifically to drive uh, on the Vandra ceiling? No. No, there is nothing wrong there. As it was. Have you, been, have you seen the route before? No, no. <laughs> Tony, Tony's yeah. been out already. And yeah, he, so, yeah, he was there a month back, he told yeah. me that. So, so how's your daily routine goes with the car then? <laughs> Every day you start with the with the car, you've been with the car for a whole squad. Every day we, we do the same routine, body work up, get the water heater, scavenge rig on, the oil scavenge rig, program it, get it ready to fire up, fire it up, put the body work up, it's ready. So if I say the whole car is uh, computerized and managed uh, and performance has been checked, been computer, I'm not wrong then. Yeah. And if I say how, how the whole average goes off with the car then? How, you, sorry? How the average goes off with the car, fuel average and all. So do you have to consider that aspect as well? Yeah, we've... Uh, with the engine? Well, we've got all the data that tells me exactly how much fuel it uses. 
what the distance is of the road, and we'll work out exactly how much we need to put in. So we'll put that in just before, before we run, and we'll monitor that. If we need more, we'll put it in. If we don't, we won't. Okay.